Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to model a kettlebell like this. And if you render it, you will also see the bump map. Okay. So we'll look at how to model this, how to texture map it, and create a kettlebell. So I'm going to save this file, and reset it. Okay. So first things first, go to google.com and look for a reference image that you would like to model. I've selected this. Save the image and bring it in 3ds Max. So first we'll create a plane. Hit the M key. I'll find the standard material. Drag diffuse, general, bitmap. Select the kettlebell. Assign material to selection. Show shaded map in the viewport. We just scale it so it looks right. Okay, I will also like to see it in the front view. So this is the kettlebell we are going to create. I'm going to start with the sphere. So let me move the image back so we can create our sphere in the center. Okay, so the sphere has to be as big as the image and the number of segments I will use is 12. 12 edged faces on. All right. So the reason I got 12 faces is so that we get a middle part to extrude out. and then it is at the top here okay I think I got 10 yeah 10 so you got a middle part and then you get this as well so I will convert this into an editable poly select the vertex and delete half of it all right then we will fill it this and we will extrude it extrude it i think 50 is good uh, before extruding you can make this small All right, so it has to be a little small and then extrude it to 50 and then do it four times. Okay, so we are going to go to the vertex mode and we will be rotating this one move it, rotate here. Rotate a little, move a little. Rotate this, move. So this is the middle part. Rotate it all the way so it is aligned. Straight, okay. This one has to be slightly here. These polygons can go here, and this will be here somewhere. Okay. You can select and move things around. All right. So that looks good. Maybe I think this needs to come out a little bit. Okay. So the basic thing is done. Then we have a flat bottom. So we will select the 
vertices in the bottom and move them up. All right, so that's done. Okay, then add a symmetry modifier. Symmetry, so we get the other half. We we'll copy it. This one. When we copy it, we make it a reference. Okay, remember that. So we'll select the reference and add mesh smooth. And iterations will be two. All right. Now we can mod modify this one and see the final result. All right, so this is kind of quite high, so we'll just bring that down. Okay, so the flat part is not flat, so we will select. The bottom polygons and we will put an inset ever so slight inset and select this polygon control C middle two polygons delete them edge this one control this one move out until it merges okay so you get a clean geometry clean flat geometry in the bottom all right now this part here so we'll select this vertex this one control this one will scale out so we get a round surface here and it has to be flat okay so it has to be flat here and then it is not round here so what we will do is select these edges and connect okay so in the front view I can then select this and move out to make it round and then these have to be selected move closer okay so select this, control select this, and insert. Again, this polygon, control this polygon, delete, edge, this edge, control this edge, move until it merges. All right. So you get that surface there, and we've got to make it round. So move it until it looks around. Okay, so that is done. Now you can see that this is narrow here and then we have wider ones here. So we will simply select those edges, this four edges and we will connect and move that line down okay so the line moves down and then you get a smoother surface there so that part is done next step is to create this 1kg so we will simply go to text click on the text okay this should be absolutely the last step or what you can do is copy this again 
so you have this one to go back to if you want to make any modifications I'm not going to spend time sculpting this properly if you want to get exact shape you can do it the text has to say what we want it to say so 1 kg and then the text has to have an extrusion so I'm going to put some nice thickness to it Okay, select the font and all that you like I'm not going to spend too much time on that the size looks big so you can reduce the size you can do the tracking so separate the words okay, and then you can decide how much you want them to go inside That looks good to me. One and G, I think. More here. All right. So it's going that much inside, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Then select this and add a. Actually, not add, but <coughs> you go to compound objects. We're going to use Boolean and we're going to use subtract. And then we want to select the text. Okay, so that creates text. Now, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need a little darker, a different color to the text inside, and different color to the text outside. So in the front it will be visible so again we add an edit poly modifier select the polygon which says control select the text okay and then we are going to grow it grow the selection so click on once so all the polygons for the text are selected we will go down and we will give it a set id of two this is important okay so everyone else has a set id of one this has a set id of two that's it so coming to material what we are going to do is go to material editor we're going to use a multi sub object material okay and then we are going to use two standard materials one and two so the first standard material is for the kettlebell okay so you can rename it kettlebell the second one is text okay and that goes to number two so the number two is almost black number one is dark and okay, let us zoom into it it is going to have a specular map so it's shiny and then it needs a bump so we'll drag bump in general and we'll add noise bump to it okay so we will select this material and then assign material to selection and then if you render this all right so now we need to play with the material for the bump so double click on this maps the bump will be 100 and then 
the size will be 1. Let us see how that looks. Okay, and now you get the idea. So you can play with that bump, maybe 0.5, oops, not blur, but size. And then you can try a different blur, either regular fractal or turbulence. And then you get a kettlebell which has bump. And then you can play with those numbers to see what you like. Okay. So that's about it. You got a kettlebell with text bump and the shape that you're looking for, okay? Thank you.